I'm not talking about just religion. I'm talking about in biblical history and all of that. Uh, and uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't mention it, I don't think, preaching. I didn't hear him. But he's also a black belt karate guy. He was, he was telling us about, which don't mean anything about the ministry, but, but he, he, he was uh, t- telling us about, you know, he, he took karate for many years. He's a black belt karate karate guy and uh, uh, but but anyway he, he's uh, he's really uh, full of knowledge and and uh, just let's listen and we had a wonderful time make, and make you laugh just make you laugh and and have a fun time in the Lord and uh, brother Weston and, and the and the Henson family brother Weston and his wife and daughter will be uh, next week they're, they're having the huge uh, quartet convention in Pigeon Forge. You can see it online. I got online yesterday and looked at it, and they were, they were just all of the all of the big quartets that's still around today are are going to be there. And um, Weston is nominated for Male Vocalist of the Year in in those awards. So um, it was an honor for us to have them with us uh, o- over the weekend. Amen. Let's sing one. Let's sing one or two of their songs. We don't sing them like they do. They, they, uh, and they don't sing them like we do. Uh, Larry, Larry, Larry was telling us, and it was it was so funny about about how how he and he and Kenny what say what Ronnie's but how he and Kenny were so particular about about the group uh, about someone being off in the singing and said so they could pick it up right that and. And, and they would go over to each other and punch each other or say something well, while they were in concert. You know, you, may, you say, you, you, you was off there, wasn't you? <laughs> That's how precise they are in, in, uh, in vocal. You know, we just sing and, and uh, we all sing the same part, you know. <laughs> but uh, if, you, if you're not singing your part in their group, well, they, they let you know. But that's the way it's supposed to be. But... Uh, yeah, ben, ben, ben does his part real good. He sings, he sings his part really well. It, it, he's always on key singing and, and, and always, always right on time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I think we're singing D, but by, by, by the time they find me missing, do we do that in D or G? Uh, let's... D, I thought it was D. Well, my old friends say I'm missing all the good times. Why I live for Jesus, they can't understand. But by the time they realize I'm truly missing, I'll be missing tribulation, living in glory land. But by the time they find me missing, I'll be leaving over there Where there is no reminiscing Of all the sorrows we've had down here Yeah, by the time they look around me And they discover that I'm gone I'll be in that final chorus Singing round the master's throne. Yes, I'm missing an awful lot of earthly treasures. Cause I'm not famous and I'm not a millionaire. Oh, but I know for sure I'll not be missing heaven. Where I'm known to all as rich, that beyond compare. Well, by the time, by the time they find me missing. Will I be leaving over there Where there is no reminiscing Of all the sorrow we've had down here Yeah, by the time they look around me And they discover that I'm gone I'll be in that final chorus Singing round, singing around the, the master's throne. Oh, yeah, play it. Is 
Sister Virginia and Tommy down there in Covington, this is for you tonight. I guess I'm missing an awful lot of earthly treasures. Cause I'm not famous and I'm not a millionaire. Oh, but I know for sure I'll not be missing heaven. Where I'm known to all as rich and that beyond compare. Bill, by the time. They might, they might be missing. Will I be living over there? Where there is no reminiscing, no reminiscing of all the sorrow we've, we've had down here. You yeah, by the time, by the time they, look around they look around and me. they discover. Chorus, singing around, singing around the master's throne. We'll singing around, singing around the master's throne. Hallelujah. Amen. And I always like the one that that Larry Larry wrote and Larry Larry sing. And I I, I remember you that you that always used to watch the gospel jubilee many years ago. Uh, when, when the Henson sang, sang on uh, the Gospel Jubilee. Uh, Larry, I think Larry talked about that a little bit. But, but how many remembers watching the Gospel Jubilee? The, the, they, they were most of the time the co-host and they had other, the other singers of that day on. That, that, was, that was every Sunday morning. You, you get, get ready for church watching Jubilee, Jubilee, Gospel Jubilee. But uh, that came on every Sunday. What, what, what network was that on? Was that on NBC or CBS, one of them? Uh, but but anyway, I don't remember which one of them was on. It was on one of them, wasn't it? Because, yeah, there's only three back that day. ABC, NBC, CBS, that's all you could get. And, and that was more you can watch. And we, we we're not satisfied today with 10,000 stations, whatever it is we're watching. But but anyway, Larry, Larry wrote this song and uh, sang it. And um, it says, I can't walk. And Gary, you can help us on this one if you want. Uh, I, I, I think it's in D also. But he, Larry always took the lead on this song, and, and it has a, has a good meaning to it when you listen to it. It says, Used to be when I was sinning, Satan stood off somewhere a grinning as the pleasures that he brought just turned on me. My teardrops came like a rain of falling till I heard. My Savior calling If you can't go on Anymore Just lean on me And I won't walk Without Jesus I won't talk Without Jesus I refuse To live one day As before And I won't go Without Jesus, it just ain't so Without Jesus, cause everything that I would do I just won't do without the Lord My Jesus We can't walk without Him tonight, saints Can't talk without Him, can't live without Him, breathe without Him through Christ we can do all things tonight Hallelujah Now a beggar lame at the gate He was sitting in all his life He'd been regretting Cause he never stood I took a stroll on down the street Oh, but Peter and John happened by his way Look upon us, oh, Peter did say Rise up and walk in the name of the Lord And he leaped to his feet You know what he said? He said, I won't walk without Jesus I won't walk without Jesus to live one day as before And I won't 
go Without Jesus it just ain't so Without Jesus all everything that I would do I just won't do without the Lord Cause everything that I would do I just won't do without the Lord Hallelujah. Amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. God is good tonight. I won't keep you too late tonight. Just want to talk just for just a few moments. On, on a subject titled Binding and Loosing. Binding and loosing because we have really probably took it for granted and just, just go and say, you know, I bind you and I loose you and don't even know what we're saying. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen lots of, especially at the Pentecostal realm, you know, preachers, I bind you, devil, I bind you, and they really don't even know what they're saying. They, they don't know the authority. Uh, you know, I, 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 could, I could go up and tell Brother Norman, Brother Norman, I, I arrest you uh, in the name of the law, but I don't have no authority. I don't, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have the, uh, you know, I don't have a badge. I don't have the authority from the police or sheriff department. I don't have the authority. So we're going to learn just a little bit tonight. In, in Matthew chapter number 16, we find in Matthew Jesus actually using this same quotation two times in, in chapter 16, and we'll get to it in a moment in chapter 18 also, I believe it is, 18 or 19, 18. But Ma Matthew 16 and 19, Jesus said, And I will give unto thee, talking to Peter, I, I will, I'm not going to go read in the rest of the, the other ones before that, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. This is what he's saying. I'll give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Help me, Lord, to... Bring this word out, God. Not in my being, Lord, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, God, that it would touch hearts in this building, hearts and lives that are watching. Lord, and I give you praise for that tonight in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen. If we, if we study, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed. So if we study the aspects of binding and loosing in the word, we will better understand how and what to bind and loose. I have heard people say, I loose the power of God. You can't lose the power of God. You ain't never had the power to lose it. His power is omnipresent and omnipotent. You can't lose His power. So, so we have to know what we have the authority to bind and loose. First, I'm going to look at the way we usually use the term bind and loose. We use... The authority given to us by the Word of God, Jesus said, In my name you shall take up serpents. In my name you shall cast out devils. In my name you shall speak. In my name he was given us instructions. So what is our authority? Our authority is the name of Jesus. 
Our authority is the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. That's our authority that we use to bind. And when we bind the enemy in Jesus' name, we got to understand what binding means. Because I, I, I read, I don't know how many different, uh, I, I, I think I went into about every denomination's thing on the Internet looking about how they described it. But, but when, when, when you bind something, you forbid when you, when you read the study the history of, of, back in the Hebrew and, 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 all, and all how, how that it was how, how that we was it was translated, it means binding men for, forbid you forbid the enemy to do anything that he started to do. You forbid him just just like a parent would forbid their child when they start to do something you, you, they, they start no you're not going I forbid you to do that. In other words, you don't have permission, you don't have authority to do it. So when we understand what we are doing when we bind the powers of hell in that's coming against us, understand that when you, when, when you say, I bind you, you're, you're not just saying, I bind you, devil, I, I really don't know what it means, but I bind you. You are forbidding the devil to continue his attack in whatever area it is. And how are you forbidding? You're forbidding him in the authority of the Holy Ghost that, by, by, that Jesus has given us. Using the power. The Bible said you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Acts chapter number 2. We have power. So we have power and we have authority in the name of Jesus to forbid. So, so you, don't, you don't really have to go saying, devil, I bind you and not knowing what you're saying. You can look the enemy in the eye with the situation and say, I forbid. Say, stop it. I forbid you to proceed this attack in my life. That's binding him. That's putting, that's putting the brakes on his attack. That's, that's, not just putting, that's not just putting handcuffs, as I've seen, and I've probably used that term too. Uh, it's not just putting handcuffs on the devil. It's forbidding him. It's stopping him in his tracks. It's, it's saying that you drew a line in the sand and he can't cross it no matter what because when you drew the line in the sand, it was drew with the blood-stained banner of the cross of Calvary. So, so learn about what you're saying when you when you bind it learn to say devil i forbid you when there's an attack in your life i forbid this attack i give it no permission i give it no authority i give it no i give it no room i give it no place i forbid it to come any further and the devil is bound at your word why because Jesus said, when you forbid him, and again, some of the translations use the word forbid because that would, that, again, when you study, that, that's, that's actually the word that we would use in today's language, forbid. Devil, I forbid you to come at me. Somebody say, devil, you're forbidden. You're forbidden to come and attack my life. You're forbidden to come at me. You're bound. Now I want you to understand what, 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 what I'm saying here. He is bound, bound by the authority that you speak. Bound. You understand what I'm meaning by bound? by that authority. 
when Brother Tom was highway patrol, he was bound by the authority of the state. And he could, he could say, uh, Brother Norm or Pastor, I, I, we, we did something wrong. I arrest you. You're under arrest. I forbid you to do anything. You're under arrest. And so see, when we, when we forbid the, the, the enemy, we, we put him under arrest. We take away his authority. We take, we take, we take away his, his plan that he had for you. When, you. when you understand what you're doing, when you bind him, according to the word, you've, 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 you forbid him. There's no further action can be taken. It restricts his ability of any further action. We've got to understand that we also must use the keys to the kingdom of heaven. The keys. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, I give you the keys to the kingdom. The keys. The keys are the knowledge and understanding of how to bind and to loose. Understanding. I give you the keys to the kingdom. Understand how to use that authority. That, uh, that, that anointing through the Holy Ghost. Because, because Satan is bound by your word in heaven. Because Jesus said, whatever you restrict on earth, whatever you forbid him to do on earth, I'll forbid it in heaven. So, so that's where the binding comes in. He is bound by it. Understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about binding with handcuffs and chains. I'm talking about he is bound by the word of God. And when you're restricted and when you're bound by the word in heaven, you have no authority. And when you have no authority, your ability is restricted. And when your ability is restricted, you are null and void. I don't know if you're getting it the way I got it when, when God gave it to me. You cannot bind something by just simply saying, I bind you. You can't do it. You just can't say, I bind you, and expect the devil to run off somewhere and, and hide in a corner. The devil recognizes authority. You, you say, you say, I don't understand. What, what don't, 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 don't you remember? Don't you remember one time these dudes coming up and saying, you know, I try, trying to cast devils out. All right, I, 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 I cast you out in the name of, of that dude that, that 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 Paul was talking about. I think his name was Jesus. They were saying, I cast you out in His name. And the devil looked. Well, now Paul, I know, Jesus, I know, Peter, I know, but just who in the world are you? They didn't have no authority. They, did, they didn't have any, any knowledge, no authority. They, they, did, they didn't have the power to use the name of Jesus. Because they, they didn't even they didn't know what they were saying. Because the devil looked, the devil looked, you know, the, de the devil recognizes authority. The devil said, Well, well, Peter, I know, Paul, I know. All these other disciples I know, but just who are you? You can't, you can't go and pray for somebody and say, I, I, I pray, I pray that the, that the God of old Roberts will heal you. He healed, he healed many, I pray that don't work. If it don't live inside of you, you might as well forget about it. If, the, if that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you, it shall quicken this mortal body. It shall change you. 
It shall give you that authority. It shall give you that power. It shall give you that, uh, uh, that, that knowledge and understanding that you forbid that attack of the enemy. You forbid his attack. You forbid him from coming at you. You forbid him. You restrict him. So all of his authority is canceled out. So you can't just bind it by saying, I bind you. You must work in the authority and power of the Holy Ghost. That is the key, one of the, one of the keys to binding. Let's look, let's look again at Matthew 8, 18, 18 and 20. Again, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, this is the second time in just a, a few, a few uh, chapters. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Verse number 19. And again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree. Okay, now this, this is right after the first quotation he said. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And I say, and again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Sometimes there's such a spiritual attack that it takes two or three coming against the powers of hell two is good but a threefold cord huh i said two is good but a threefold cord can't be broken when you get two or three together in one mind And in one accord. And begin taking the authority away from the devil. Because he has authority on this earth. He has his authority on this earth. To come and attack us. It's up to you and I to take that authority away from him. come together in agreement begin to begin to take his authority away i forbid you i take your authority away i bind you forbid you strip you of your authority strip you of your powers why because when you begin to say that i'm taking away god in heaven is taking is taking that authority away and there there the binding comes in there there that bond that Bond. Understand. Bond. Somebody say bond. Because when you study it out, and Brother Larry gave me this. I have to give him credit because he gave me the inside of this the other day and told me what to study. When you really study the connection of the binding and the loosing, it goes back, the binding and loosing, when you study, it goes back to the Old Testament. It goes back to the, to, to, to the, to the temple. When, when, when the temple was in the tents, when, when, when they moved from place to place, and when they, when they set up the temple, when they set up the outer court, the inner court, and the Holy of Holies, when, when they, when, when they would when they would uh, nail down the stakes to those tents they were binding that that temple they were binding the holy of holies down to the spot that god told them to do and that bond of, 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 of that temple there became a bond of God's people and of the priest to God in heaven. It was a bond when God said, when God said, set the temple here, they began to nail it down. That was a bond. That bond. See, God's word is a bond. And when they would, when they would 
take up stakes and God would say move it somewhere else they would take up stakes that would loose the people and that they would go in, in, in God's direction and go you see the bonding of, 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 of God's word when you bind the devil when you restrict the devil it is a bond of God's word in heaven when you bind him when you forbid him that bond between you and God it all of a sudden makes of understand what the bond is the bond ain't a word the bond is the word the bond that you're binding Satan with is the bond that you have with the Holy Ghost inside of you and God in heaven when you do it God says I've got a bond with that child and my bond will go and restrict the devil I hope I ain't getting outside the boundaries of some of your understanding today. It ain't, it ain't real hard. The bond. Understand the binding is a bond. Bond. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is the bond that you have. That's the reason those, the, those seven sons of Sceva... That's the reason you, you can't go up and say, I adjure you in the, in, in the name of that guy that Paul talked about. There was no bond between those guys and, and God in heaven. But when your name is written down, when you're covered by the blood, when you're born again, when you follow the Holy Ghost, there is a bond between you and God. And when you tell the devil, I forbid you, that bond kicks in and restricts the devil. Understand it now? Is it becoming more clearly to you that, that, that you don't just say, I bind you, devil? Except because, again, most, most preachers, when they say, I bind you, they don't understand what they're saying. Okay, I'm putting handcuffs on you. Well, that's a, that's a little part of it. That's a, that's a little part of binding. And the more I began to study this, the more it was enlightened to me. It's the bond that we have within us and God Almighty. That bond is what restricts the devil. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't putting handcuffs on him. It's the bond. I've got to hurry because I've got to let you go. The loosing. The loosing. When you, when you loose something, is you give it liberty and you give it freedom to operate. When, when they took up the stakes and they moved the temple, they moved the outer court, the inner court, the holy... When they would move it from one spot to another. They didn't move it a lot, but they moved it several times. But when they would move it, it freed them from where they were at to go where God told them to go. When we begin to loose things in people's lives, God said, when you, when you loose it, on earth, it's loosed in heaven. It's loosed by the bond. Huh. It's loosed by that. When you loose, when when he when he saved us, when when we was born again, we was loosed from bondage. We were loose from bondage. Now we have the authority to loose things in the lives of people. You know, God, God didn't tell you to go around. All right, God, I, I, I loose, I, I loose uh, millions of dollars to fall. You know, that ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. We begin to loose restrictions in people's lives that hell has, has, has brought them into, 
into captivity. I loose. And when we come together, we loose. We loose by the authority of God. We, 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 we lose peace in the people's lives that God said, I, I'm, I'm giving you peace that passes all understanding. We loose it. In other words, we take up, we take up the stakes that's had you bound down. We take up the stakes of the enemy that's had you bound down, that's had you restricted from being free in the Spirit because when we was born again, we was made free. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. When we, when we begin to proclaim, I loose happiness into your life. I loose, I loose your faith that's been nailed down by the deceitfulness of hell. By the trickery of the enemy. And when we loose it in the authority of God's word, by the power of God. That's when they begin to be free. Now they're not nailed down. Now they're not restricted. But now the devil's restricted. Because when we loose somebody from a, from a, from a thing, an attack, it looses them and it restricts the devil. Binding and loosing. So just begin to just begin to praise God when when, 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 you need, when you need something bound in your life, the, devil, the devil's coming against you. He's coming against you with sickness or coming against you with depression or, or just whatever it is. I could just make you know write, write a 10 page thing, but, but, but just, just just say, "I restrict you, devil. I've got, I've got an enlightenment on it. I, I restrict you from going any further. I draw a line in the sand and I draw it by the blood of the Lamb so you know you can't come any closer. I restrict you. I take your authority away. You don't have to put handcuffs on him. You don't have to put chains on him. All you've got to do, because there is a bond, understand what it says. There is a bond between us and God. When we bind it on earth, it's bound in heaven by that bond. It's done by the word. It's done by the faith in God. It's done by the keys of the kingdom. Hmm. Number one, being born again. Being filled with the Holy Ghost. Understanding and knowing, knowing how to use the authority that God has given us. You'll see things begin to happen when the devil understands that you, you really know what you're doing. Because like I said, I, it, it, the, the, devil, the devil's not going to stop but you, 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 but, 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 but someone just saying, me just saying, I bind you, devil. Yeah, that ain't going to stop him. You got to have authority. Understanding and the power. Unity and agreement. I didn't even go to my second page, but that's all right. Unity and agreement will cause that bond. Understand that bond between just somebody just pat yourself on the back or on the head or someone say that unity between me and God that bond between me and God through the Holy Ghost through the blood of the Lamb that bond that we have gives me the authority to say devil you're restricted I forbid you to come any farther. I forbid you. Hmm. And when we lose something, we permit it. I'm closing. Brett, come and get us something. 
So when you, when you bind it, you forbid it. When you loose it, you permit it. You're permitting the Holy Spirit to move obstacles out of your life. You're permitting the Holy Spirit to come into your to, to come to your rescue. You're permitting the Holy Spirit to do whatever it is that you have need of when you when you loose when you loose yourself. When you loose, you say, you say, you see, because again, we, 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 we take loose, the loosing, that, that one word, and all of a sudden in our mind, it, it starts, it don't make no sense. Now, now, how can I, how can I loose the Holy Spirit? I, I, I understand, it, in the translation, it means permitting, because God will not push himself on anybody. Am I right there? The Holy Spirit will not do something in somebody's life that they don't want him to do. He don't push himself. We permit. Loosing is permitting. Holy Spirit, I permit you. I ask you. When you ask, you, you permit. I'm permitting you, Holy Spirit, to do it in my life. See? Loosing is, is, is permitting it to work. I, per I permit happiness. To I permit healing to come. Permission. Permission. Can we stand? Let's take two minutes and come and stand up here if we can. We had such a wonderful, wonderful, powerful time in prayer yesterday. Our prayer services are getting just... Well, I mean, just more powerful every every week, and it, it was it was just so powerful yesterday. The Holy Spirit just touching and moving in such a wonderful way. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't fret. Don't wonder. Don't be discouraged. Sister Maxine, don't be discouraged. We forbid. We've we've prayed, and 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 the Lord did. The Lord did show me that some stuff about your blood, them, them, them blood cells, and the, there's some other stuff. But 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 today, tonight, everybody just stretch your hand towards Sister Maxine. Say, I forbid this anymore in her life. We forbid sickness in her life. We it's 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 bound by the bond between God. In us, it's bound in heaven. There's a bond with us in heaven that this thing is bound by. So, so this this attack, huh, we take we take that authority away from you tonight. We take it away. Your authority will cease tonight. The attack will cease in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak to those that are watching over the internet. Tom in Virginia down there in Covington. I speak to the sickness. And I forbid it any longer in your life. It must cease. In the name of Jesus. Because it is bound in heaven. With the bond of the Holy Ghost in our life. We've got a bond. With God. That he will honor. In the name of Jesus. Others that are watching. Brother and Sister Bowman. Tonight God's touching you. God's touching you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, touch each one that's here tonight, God. Lord, touch our church family. Touch each one, God, that, Lord, that there's an attack in their life. God, tonight, we forbid it to come any, any further. We forbid it to, pro to, to progress any further in their life. It is bound tonight. And we permit the Holy Ghost to go into their lives. 
God, we together tonight. Jesus instructed, said, wherever two or three are gathered in his name, we can ask whatsoever we will, and it shall be done of his Father. And tonight, we permit the Holy Spirit to go and move in the lives of our church family. In Jesus' name, touch. Let the healing virtue flow in their lives. Restoration in their bodies. Restoration in their spirits. Their minds are set free. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for this day. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the blessed name of Jesus. And the church said, Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Bless you. Again, please call some people.